today kindly change our chat settings to all panelists and attendees uh, good evening aditya balaji dinesh harish diji somen suja vijay shama prasad ji ranganath uh, glad to see you here somen yeah good evening everyone i hope you are doing awesome okay so um so uh, let's get to know each other because some of you are new here some of you have heard me before so how many first timers here how many first timers here anyone hearing uh, uh, hearing me for the first time in this group okay balaji is a first timer all right welcome balaji so rest of you already know me awesome so uh, dinesh you raised your hand so um, i'm not sure what is it regarding are you a first timer here type in the chat box ft first timer so why don't you share where you are from your uh, your, your uh, you know where you are from and what do you do and what what is what wh what is it that you want to learn today uh, is everyone aware of today's topic do you know what our today's topic is Uh, Dinesh is from Panipat, Haryana, and in into textiles. Thank you so much, Dinesh. Harish, yes. What's our today's topic? So, first of all, welcome all of you to the business satsang series. Okay, this is going to happen every Tuesday at 9 p.m. And the topic, uh, I will be sharing the topic. Uh, I'll be creating a group, and then I'll be sharing the topic for that day uh, before. so these are free learning series uh, because based on my past experience i realized that um, it's very important to have this momentum that we have built over last 3 4 months to keep going helping people uh, uh, empowering people to develop these uh, entrepreneurial skills the skills that really matter for your growth the digital uh, world related skills learning the language of the digital world what it takes to create uh uh you know a highly credible online presence what it takes to make this digital puzzle working for you because there's so many tools so many social platforms what to use where to use how to use what videos to make how to make the videos how to get leads how to get subscribers is that your interest is that what you want to learn yes right good evening uh, sandeep ji so balaji is from chennai he is an mba in finance and working in a private company yes thank you so much for sharing so um, today's topic is four steps to creating amazingly credible on online presence now how many of you agree how many of you agree that you need to have an online presence how many of you agree that you require to have an online presence yes sandeep agrees somen agrees right is there anyone who does not agree how many of you think that it's okay i don't need an online presence i can still survive suja agrees to have online presence harish agrawal agrees to have online presence right now what what sharda also agrees to have an online presence uh, balaji also agrees yes so now the question is then why aren't you having an online presence how many of you already have online presence i would like to understand what do you mean by online presence what do you mean when we say having an online presence what comes to your mind when 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 i'm saying online presence just give me some words or sentence that comes to your mind when i'm saying online presence don't know all right that's a great <laughs> that's a great space to be in balaji okay 
social media okay that's one part dinesh uh, says facebook that's one part sharda says youtube all right so these are yes social media will include uh, okay ye facebook youtube instagram website sandeep ji says website facebook page instagram youtube yes yes well answered balaji is saying linkedin right now social now these social platforms are no longer social connection platforms these platforms have become marketing platforms when these products started they were all social connecting people right helping you establish your network group connections but uh, looking at the volume of people on these platforms these platforms are no longer a social connection platform they have become a marketing broadcast platforms how earlier marketing used to happen on television you are uh, right tv there was so tv was a broadcast uh, platform right so all these youtube has become a broadcast platform right there are a lot of broadcast platforms and all of them are basically whatever work you will do on these platforms is oriented towards generating leads or sales for your business whatever products or services you have to offer now how many of you are already entrepreneurs here running a business type in the chat box entrepreneur type entrepreneur on fire eof type entrepreneur on fire eof if you are already an entrepreneur and running a business having some products or services to sell sandeep bafna ji is an entrepreneur on fire no i don't mean digital marketing i don't mean digital marketing uh, yeah these are tools to use for marketing yeah but we are looking at the no in general are you are you running your business or are you employed are you running your business or are you employed right now just type running a business or employed Suman is an entrepreneur on fire. Welcome, Suman. Shashank wants to be an entrepreneur, aspiring entrepreneur. Awesome. You can put aspiring entrepreneur on fire. <laughs> okay. Balaji is employed. All right. Uh, Suman is a professional. Okay. A business and employee too. Sharda Chakrabarty has both. Suja is running a business. Okay. So uh, you have products or services to sell, right? Now your products can be physical products, and your or your products can be digital products. now let's say what what could be digital products let's name some digital products suja is running a business yeah thank you for answering that yes so we have physical products like we have a cup we have things we have clothes we have water bottles we have fashion jewelry we have apparel so uh, whatever you know home household products these are physical products so what what is a e product what is a digital product what are digital products yes so main is saying my knowledge is my product yes but your is your knowledge a tangible product is your knowledge here or it is converted to a digital product is your knowledge right now here or do you have it as a product offering you online classes are digital products okay online courses pre recorded online courses music cds videos they are all online pro digital products right your pdfs your ebooks are all digit digital products ebooks right yeah yes very good yes balaji digital courses online classes these are all your digital products the online classes you are still doing like live sessions like this but it 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 will be great to convert it into a product so that you can sell it whether you are conducting your online classes or not right so now the question is how to create a credible online presence so today's topic is four steps to creating an amazingly credible online presence what it takes to build your online presence i'm just going to be covering four steps there are a lot more things but i'll try to give you the foundation and fundamentals uh, that are needed 
So some of you have already attended my uh, five-day classes, uh, which I do uh, for the knowledge digitization and monetization business model. Very few are first timers here. So I, I just wanted to uh, help you guys understand uh, uh, some more add-ons beyond those five days, right? What else is needed, right? So Kathan, Kathan is saying software. Yeah, softwares are digital products. Yes, tools, uh, if you have, uh, for example, uh, the, uh, the Photoshop uh, tools are, uh, or it's an online product, right? It's a software tools are online products. Your get responder, uh, auto respond, auto responder, email marketing software, they are all online digital products, right? Facebook itself is a digital product, right? Google itself is a digital product. YouTube is a product, right? It's a product a company is creating and then we are consumers of that product, right? Yes, so let's get started. So, um, what, what what do you want, I, I also want to know what do you want to learn from today's session? What is your what is the what what is it that you intend to learn from today's session? Set your intention right. So, what is it that you want to learn today? Basic things, Balaji. Okay. May I have some more responses so I know that you guys are in the right room uh, and uh, you are aware of the agenda of the program? Right, how to create digital presence, so is saying yes. That's how you would, I mean, uh, we, I do a five-day class on that, how to create your digital, not by, by, by digitizing, monetizing, and marketing your knowledge, uh, yeah. Guidelines for digital entrepreneurship. All right, Shashank. All right. Okay, that's a good a good thing to be in digital entrepreneurship. You can sell other people's products or services, or you can sell your create your own products and services. Okay, the, that is uh, online entrepreneurship. Yes, and there are a lot of uh, a lot of skills that you can acquire right now on the digital area, like content writing or becoming a Facebook uh, ad expert or just a Google ad expert or a, a video expert, okay, video sales expert. So these are some of the, uh, um, uh, you know, roles that you can actually get, uh, get new skills acquired and start your own online ventures, okay. Marketing strategy. Uh, marketing strategies, uh, we will, con one, one, one session, we will conduct completely on marketing strategies. Uh, the today's session is four steps to creating your a credible online presence, what it takes to create a credible online presence for someone who's starting from scratch, okay? From someone who, who wants, because we have all seen in COVID times, the necessity to have an online presence or leverage the online world, the digital world, the digital marketing, the solutions available, the tools available for benefit of your business to generate, generate leads or to sell products over e-commerce platforms whatever it is, right? So it is very important to have a know-how of the digital world and how much. So this whole digital world is like an ocean and how you have studied so many years of your life to get the foundation of your education and then you did specialization, graduation. So you spend some three, four years to do a specific subject uh, specialization. So digital marketing is like that. So the question is, as an entrepreneur, how much you must know of the digital world? Because if you want to become, you want to use these, these platforms to run your business or to get leads for your business, to get sales for your business, or do you want to become an expert in the digital marketing and set up your own agency? Right? So if you need to, you want to do that, then you have to invest at least three to four years three to four years of daily as you go to college to understand this whole digital platform and digital world, digital marketing, SEO, Google AdWord, email marketing, autoresponders, broadcast system, funnel building, marketing campaigns, automation, analytical analytics tool, this and the you know, learning management system. There's so much, uh, so you know, whole gamut of things that you need to master, okay? So what is important as an entrepreneur 
even if you have some products or services, how much you must know. You must know as much that empowers you to make right choice of your agency, of the people who will do the Facebook campaigns for you, for of the people who will do the digital marketing for you. To just to qualify whether they know their stuff. See, when you when you are recruiting for your office, right? When you are if you run a business or even if you are you, if you are in employment i am sure you must be in some senior positions right now so when you recruit recruit for your organization right or for your own business you know what you are looking in the person that you have you want to recruit right but the problem the the entrepreneurs or the people who want to leverage the digital world are facing is you don't even know when someone says i will do your website that are they the right are they are they the right team to build my website are they the right team to do my marketing campaigns right you don't even know on what basis you should be you know assessing them before giving your work to them so what i see the challenge right now is people you just say website bana do website bana do and they will make some they will implement they are good at implementation but that website the question to ask is is that website giving you what you want first of all do you have clarity on what you want from your online presence so i'm starting this session now so my first question to you is what is it that you want from your online presence what are your goals from your online presence please type in the chat box what is it that you want from your online presence you want to establish yourself as an authority do you want to sell your products physical products do you want to create products digital products do you want to generate leads do you want more subscribers do you want more comments more engagement do you want to build a community what is your goal from your online presence have that clarity first and when you have the necessary know how of the language of the digital world you will be able to qualify people whom you will be outsourcing your work okay so my intent is to help you understand the language of the digital world now some of you know that already because of my five day whatsapp classes and some of you who are already uh, uh, coming here first time don't worry i'll i'll explain you i i'm going to keep, the agenda of this session is different but uh, you can continue to participate in such sessions and we can talk about that as well right so online uh, how to keep nurturing your let me see okay so uh, how to create digital presence guidelines for digital entrepreneurship uh, suman is saying how to keep nurturing your business yes we'll cover that that is one of the um, four steps to creating your online presence i'll cover that online presence to promote b2b b2c businesses okay great dinesh you will also see how how you can do that okay we'll be covering that today conversions conversions um, hmm all right partially we can cover that okay conversions is a topic in itself but we'll try to cover that partially okay manoj Uh, okay dinesh is saying qualified leads done uh, kathan is saying brand awareness and corporate identity okay brand awareness so are you already so because i have a mixed community of people i have people who are solo pranors uh, who are who are knowledge givers teacher trainer coaches consultants i also have people who are employed here i also have people who are are in business i also have people who want to build their build their own brand i also have people who want to start their business from scratch so um i have to make sure that i'm catering to the needs of all of you very diverse uh, group i have here okay so brand awareness corporate identity now i i, I mean are you looking for a personal brand or are you trying to establish the brand of your business or are you trying to establish the brand uh, uh, wherever you are employed so i need little more details from you kathan on that okay balaji saying to learn end to end digital presence and earn a second income okay <clears throat> uh 
uh, earn a second income will come later. Let's see how to build a credible online presence. We will definitely be doing that. Building and influencing community selling and marketing product. Yes, that's the, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, but today's agenda is how to create a credible online presence because outcome of that will be your community creation and nurturing, okay? And outcome of that, when you nurture and create a community would be sales of your product and services, right? So how do we, how do we, so, okay, so that brings us to the, the first step to creating a credible online presence is strategizing. Strategizing your online presence. And the first question to ask there is, what is my goal from my online presence? Okay, ask that question. What is your goal? I said, right, do you want to generate leads? Free leads, quality leads, paid leads? Do you want more subscribers on your channel? Do you want more fans, followers? Do you want customers? Are you selling your product directly? So what is strategize? The first step in strategizing is defining your online goals. Right? Establish, Aditya says he wants to establish himself as an authority. Great. So what it takes to establish yourself as an authority, we will cover that. Okay? Uh, Balaji wants to create online courses. Great. And Balaji, if you're a first timer, you should join my five day WhatsApp class, which I do. If, I don't know if you were, because you said first timer. So uh, uh, that the focus of those sessions is knowledge, digitization, monetization, and marketing completely, the full business model. Okay? Now this session is anyone who wants to create a credible online presence, whatever your products or services, and whatever your online goal, okay, what it takes to create an amazingly powerful online presence, credible online presence, right? So I'm going to do my screen share and um, just going to be sharing with you the four steps, okay? So most importantly, the number one step is having an online office address, okay? So as you live in the real world, right? As you are living in the real world, you have an office address and you have a home address, right? Okay, I'm yet a student, a personal brand is already there, but need bit of awareness and identity of company. Okay, building a personal brand plus company identity, yes. You, this is a, this is, you know, this whole online thing is like, I call it like, it's a giant wheel, okay? The, your, you being able to leverage the online world for yourself is like you trying to, you know, rotate a giant wheel, okay? So a giant wheel first, you know, it's a giant flywheel, okay? If you have to rotate it in the beginning, you have to put a lot of effort, a lot of, uh, you know, power, and then it starts gaining momentum little it starts gaining movement little bit of movement okay and when it gains sufficient movement it becomes a momentum and when it gains momentum it flies on its own it runs on its own right for some time and when it is running on its own a little good push also will keep the momentum on but in the beginning it is a it is it is like a you know there's a lot of daily disciplined consistent effort in right direction strategized with the goals that you have in mind having the necessary automation systems and tools will help you rotate this giant wheel step by step step by step until it gains some movement and then nurturing the movement that you have got by giving massive value to the people, to your people who you have pulled through your online presence, giving them massive value, delighting them with your offerings, with, then it becomes a momentum and then your, your community itself promotes you. And that's how you build a brand, personal brand. That's how the brands are built because consistently you will have to deliver a promise, a value that you are standing for, right? So now, 
uh, first, the most important step is in the real world, the physical world, you have a home address where people reach you. You have an office address, right? So now there we have a virtual world, which is growing faster. And you don't have to be a multi-billionaire, millionaire to create your online address or, you know, buy a site on the internet. So your website is your online office address, right? So your website, which I don't prefer calling website because I don't like, for me, the, the way websites are, I, I feel they're simply static website. Uh, you know, unidirectional information, unless the website is built with certain things in place, certain aspects in place, it is simply a waste website, okay? So if we, you call it like an online office, online office, okay? So you must have a online office address. So your website can be your office address. Your YouTube channel can be your office address. Your Facebook page can be your office address. Your Facebook groups can be your office address, online office address. Your podcast can be your online office address. Your blogs can be your online office address. Right? Where people reach you and then you connect with your email ID or phone number and get their phone numbers or email ID. So it's important to build your list it is called okay so the intent of see how when you go to an office there is an entry register whoever is entering the office is it open to all no so there is a visitor entry point right so when somebody is visiting your office in the real world there is an entry point or your home there is a security gate right so it is a mandatory process for people to give their phone number and purpose of visit right so same thing in the online world you know, when, when you are having an online office address, it is very important for people you know, to give their contact details if they have visited, if they have visited your online office in whatever address that I just mentioned. But people don't do that, right? Because you haven't asked. You haven't asked. You have simply said, contact us on the website. And you expect them to go there among so much of competition that they will go to contact us form and fill their details. That's not happening, right? So it is very important that you give them something on your various online office addresses, which is your YouTube video or whatever, you give them something so that in return, they give you their contact details as someone who is interested in your offering. So it is possible that, let's take website only as an example, okay? You, okay. So first of all, nobody is going to land up on, on your website just like that. You will have to promote it. You will have to market it. Or you will have to, if you meet people, you are in a business community or you are, you are part of some, some place when you meet people and you give your business card, but some day, suppose they come to your website. So in a year, assume, in a month, assume 1,000 people have visited your website, right? Because we are right now, I'm assuming that you're not doing any marketing promotions or Facebook uh, campaigns or boosting your post or boosting your videos. Okay, we simply post, we simply post and we expect people to get, uh, come to us. So that's not working, that's not happening, all right? So what you need to do is when, say in a month when 1,000 people have come to your website, now, at least some 10% people should be interested in your offering. So at least 100 leads you should be able to generate automatically. How will you generate those leads? You will generate those leads by giving them something on your whatever platform that you have used to build your online presence. Okay. So now there are important components of your web presence. Now let's take website as an example. There are six important components that you need to have on your website. First and foremost, it is a catchy headline. A catchy headline. Okay, because the attention span of people is very less. Now, it's not just your website. Your YouTube video, 
description has to have a catchy headline catchy compelling high converting headline your when you start speaking on the video you need to have a catchy headline when you are writing a blog your opening statement has to be a catchy headline and a catchy question your website has to have a catchy headline the first two lines because the attention span of people is less in 0 to 8 seconds they decide whether they will be spending their time on the, your website or they are gone forever so catchy headline and what makes a catchy headline i have created a pdf for all of you <coughs> i'm going to share that pdf with you how what makes a catchy headline it's a some examples of catchy headline okay a lot of examples uh, and you can use that as a template uh, would you be interested to uh, have that would you be interested to have a catchy headline template yes all right great so uh six components of a high converting website not the agenda of today's session we will cover that some other time today's agenda is basically creating credible online presence so i've given you enough inputs on what it takes to have a solid on office online online office address okay now if you simply have a if you are having giving an address can, can we do you in the real world do you give the address of a, a empty space where nobody is living nothing is happening it is just a dhacha okay skeleton of a building do you give that place uh, uh, address for people to visit you or where the place where people visit you is fully furnished there is a mechanism to entertain them you have a kitchen functional kitchen you have furniture you have some art artifacts to have a good and nice feel right you have the necessary setup right so so when your online office also should have the necessary setup right furnished right so what what so in the online world your website your web presence should also be furnished fully furnished right you must have the mechanism to entertain and welcome your guests how you offer water when or tea coffee or some thing to your guest in the online world your visitors are your guest so you must offer them something and what you offer them free are called lead magnets lead magnets okay so give before getting so when you give them lead magnets in the form of ebook templates assessments or a glimpse of your or if you are into physical products then you will have to give some offer discounted offer or something okay physical products okay or you have to give them a give them a, a demo of your product to make it interesting for them you know some some knowledge sharing as a give okay so you some knowledge sharing whatever it need not be a digital product you can have a physical product so for example in my jewelry showroom the lead magnet for us is we tell them how to buy solitaires what will may help them make save cost how to what are the four c's of diamond okay so the four c's of diamond are cut color clarity and carrot just like that there are four c's of the online world also okay catchy compelling converting content okay catchy compelling converting content these are the four c's of your online world so compelling what makes your content compelling okay and all these are the furniture of your online office catchy compelling converting content these are the furnitures of your online office fixtures and furnitures okay so catchy headline first two opening sentence because the your home page is the most visited page and it is very important to furnish it properly right so what you need to do there lead magnets which is another thing right apart from that how to make your content compelling 
the comp the content becomes compelling when you are solving a problem when you are addressing a need that means you must have clarity on the problem you are solving in the market so if you are aware of the problem you are solving in the market and how your target audience will benefit by your solution and if you are able to merge the pain and the problem and the aspiration of your customers into few sentences or few bullet points or into just one question it becomes a compelling content make sense for example merge like you know it should have the pain element as well as the gain element right so would you like to learn how to create and sell online courses even if you feel tech challenged without having to spend a fortune is is that a compelling statement is that a compelling statement thank you so much sandeep ji yes right so for that you must know what is the problem you first of all what is the problem in in the market and for whom is who is facing that problem that is your target audience what is your solution how will your solution be unique and then how will your target audience benefit what is the gain they are going to get so i call it the pa statement pain and aspiration pa okay pain and aspiration in one sentence pain as well as aspiration in one sentence i gave you an example right now right so your you must also have a so when you are able to create this pa statement okay you will also be able to deliver your unique value proposition most of the time most of the people provide lot of value but they are unable to communicate that value so for example you know shipping charges waived off is a value okay 100% money back guarantee is a value easy and simple is a value these are very powerful words that attract your target audience right so what is the value your product or services bring into the life of your customers for example there are many tools auto responders right the many auto responders but mailchimp's uh, i think mailchimp's title is easy messaging easy email easy email newsletter i think that is the their easy email newsletter now someone who does not have any marketing knowledge who does not have any technical expertise they find it easy to use so easy becomes a value because there are some seven eight tools for example zoom we have we have demio we have webinar jam go to meeting there are so many uh, broadcast systems right but what what differs is the simplicity and a simplicity of use for someone who is non technical if you are a non technical person you will like to have a have a software which is self explanatory intuitive and easy to do you wouldn't like a system who makes you you know you need to spend 10 minutes to understand how to download the leads right so what is the value your unique value proposition also becomes a part of your office online office address okay so catchy compelling converting this value proposition is the converting content and content itself it should be relevant content content not what you have to offer it's what people need the language should be what they need what's in it for them 
more i i review many websites in my programs and i see all the content is i do this 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 i do this 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 is what the, you keep on talking about what you do of course that is important but people are not looking at that people are like looking at what's in it for them with what you do so the whole communication has to be referred should be in alignment with what your target audience wants that becomes a relevant content so content is king no relevant content is king and how do you make the content relevant by 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 sharing with people what they want to hear not what you want to say for example if i say i will be giving you a free template okay i am giving you a free template is my statement versus i say you will get a free headline catchy headline generating template you will get versus i will give that's a very very powerful insight which happened in our 30 day challenge that we i have some of my 30 day people are here so i i want to share that because it's a very powerful statement i will give versus you will get what's in it for them how people read the words words carry vibration words have power words are making or breaking your sales right so that is your online office address then building social proof so what builds your social proof reviews and testimonials but we will not call them testimonials we will call them success stories okay so whoever has bought your product services online programs it is very important for you to start building social proof because this is the era of reviews people buy looking at the reviews so it is very important for you to have reviews very very important that you start generating review from day 1 day 1 i mean you know from the beginning even if you have five people start taking their reviews start asking them to give you testimonials and if they are not giving you testimonials you have to make sure that you built it into your system or your online office that's a strategy now what i am sharing is a strategy that collecting the testimonials in an automated manner where you don't have dependency on people to hey can you give me a video uh you know can you write a third can you i i have done i mean i have in my program there are many people who have benefited from my programs and i was not capturing the testimony is and when i actually was in need of testimonies and i asked them that can you send me a video of how the program has been benefited till date i have received zero videos like that zero because people have their own things to do they forget because that's not their priority any longer they have got what they wanted okay so it it is very important that you build in the the testimonials collecting the success stories in your offerings itself on your website itself on your youtube video itself have a mechanism built in direct them to uh, uh, direct them see for example i have created this uh, uh, google reviews for my digital programs and it will be great that if you find uh, that if you feel my program is the session is benefiting you it will be a great if you can go and give me a, a, a rating and a, and comments as well so simply rating is makes no sense uh, along if you also add few words then it becomes a genuine rating otherwise people simply buy ratings and that is the problem right when a lot of people understand how to use all these tools they simply you know uh, uh, they simply go and take advantage and honest heart oriented people who have great products and services and if you are one of them and because you don't understand how to make sure that you build your credibility by reviews success stories testimonials we are the people who struggle right so it is important to build in 
you can take ideas from this i have created a google review page for my programs and uh, in just few a few few months we i've got good review so rating rating and reviews and reputation rating reviews and reputation rating and reviews will lead to your online reputation and make sure from the very beginning you are capturing that build you have to build it into your website or you have to build it in your online programs that you do okay and i am going to be showing you i am already doing that like how i shared my review if we, because the topic was related and if you feel that this program is helping you this session is helping you i would you know it's like what do you call give and gain you know it's time to give right give is not necessarily in the form of buying the upsell or buying something your kind words your learnings your takeaways which will inspire other people to learn that it's it's also is a is a give okay so now building social proof so make sure so how i i make sure is in my program i i keep on asking questions and when people i i have my recording always on and when people share uh, something good about the program uh, i have a video editing team who takes out that review and there are many reviews that we have collected over a period of time okay because uh, uh, there are tools from which you can extract the reviews but if the sessions are lengthy uh then it is just to extract some one minute or two minute it becomes very cumbersome process so uh there are tools one one such tool that i use is clidio c l i d o clidio it is a low cost uh video editing uh, tool for people who are non technical okay uh, $9 a month but it's a good tool okay so that is one thing now so building social proof very important reviews ratings and reputation because reviews and ratings will lead to uh, will lead to reputation reviews in the form of text uh, or, uh, on your facebook page or you know uh, if you have a uh, or your your recorded success stories okay or and ratings uh, you can there are there is a tool called trust pilot trust pilot okay where you can uh, trust pilot you can use for ratings but it is a paid tool so uh, the chief, i mean the free one is the google google reviews excuse me okay google google reviews all right then uh, third uh, the third piece is consistency in content and communication okay, the consistent con consistency in content and communication right so or we can also say consistency in your message and messaging okay so whatever is the content that you prepare or it is very important to be consistent that means have a having a schedule to what is it that you are going to publish and on one topic if you publish 10 videos for example you are saying you are a health weight loss expert okay weight loss expert okay and then one of your topic is losing weight naturally so your the pain that you are solving in the market is you know obesity uh, due to sedentary lifestyle that is a problem that is a pain your solution is lose weight naturally okay so now lose weight naturally if you are creating 10 videos on how to lose weight naturally and you are strategizing this is the strategizing part again okay that day one this video day two this video day three and all these because now you are also positioning yourself as an authority in your subject so the the gain is lose weight naturally the benefit your clients are going to get is lose weight naturally but to lose weight naturally you have created 10 different videos how to lose weight naturally using water therapy how to lose weight naturally using high fiber foods how to lose weight naturally with right protein intake how to lose weight naturally with uh, what do you say what with with you know with with exercises you know not like building six packs and all functionally fit exercises how to lose weight naturally with proper breathing techniques right so 
your the strategy is you are going to just lose weight naturally is the outcome and you are going to create 10 videos back to back on that topic and when you create one video there is a concept called multiplying your content which is you have just created one video from that video you can extract the audio from that video you can transcribe it and that becomes your blog that becomes your podcast so your one video can become into four one content piece that you have created can multiply four times because you can simply extract the audio and put it on podcast you can extract get it transcribed okay there are tools one such tool that i use for transcribing is called sonics.ai okay sonics.ai and and podcast tools that i use is anchor.fm and soundcloud that is where you can but uh, but if uh, if you record on zoom zoom is actually giving you the transcript but to get the transcript you need to be in the higher version of zoom higher pro, uh, paid version but there are tools low cost tools like this which which can give you that and this clidio also helps you extract the audio okay so one content and then you will do a live session on facebook in your network okay for that first topic how to lose weight naturally using water therapy that's your video you extracted the audio day 2 you have posted a podcast day 3 you are writing a blog article on a common platforms or your own blog okay where there are third party platforms which allow you to write blog on their site or if you already have a blog or if not post it on linkedin post it on your facebook as a post that's okay okay now post are also strat we are strategizing and then on day 4 you will do a live on addressing the q and a on how to lose weight naturally and then you will get you will get lot of ideas in the q and a for your next set of videos so 10 questions into 4 times 40 40 days content is done only on one outcome make sense so multiplying your content will help you position yourself as an authority in a systematic consistent manner daily your messaging is consistent there is a content strategy in place that you are leveraging right so the third step to create your amazingly powerful online presence is consistency in your content and communication okay message and messaging now everything will revolve around this whatever content you write on your website it has to be your value communication value that you bring right so you should address a problem you should have a aspiration how your problem is going to benefit them because people will buy only outcomes they are not buying the problem they are simply giving you attention because you they think you understand them with the problem statement you know what they are going through right but they will buy the solution the uh, your solution only if they see that whatever they aspire for is what you are giving them make sense so that becomes your third step right consistency in content and communication message and messaging right and then the fourth step i'm going to share my screen the fourth step is investing in marketing and automation systems okay investing in uh, marketing and automation systems okay so the fourth step investing in marketing and automation systems automation solution now if you are if you are doing so much of promotion 40 days content right what what is your expectation out of this you should be able to generate leads for whatever is your product services or offerings right thank you so much shama prasad ji thank you so much yeah right so uh, what you have to do is when you are building your content right now what is happening is you are having lot of lead leaks i'm going to type that lead leaks because you did not bother to capture the lead because with your posts you are simply generating an interest 
so this is a lead generation that is happening and i have kind of shared an automation piece also with you which is multiplying your content is automation only no you've made content only once but we are making it into four times right now when you have made these post or videos it is your responsibility to channelize and capture the leads to a system where you can engage with them and communicate with them in an automated manner so currently whatsapp is working beautifully okay so the moment somebody gives their contact details you will have to make sure that either you are creating a google form if you are a free free kind of a person you want low cost tools or free tools then you will have to do along with uh, it will be it will be semi automation little manual work you have to do little automation you can do but if you are a person who believes in saving time and uh, you know making the most of uh, so many low cost digital tools available and you know simplifying your day to day routine and still making the most of it you have just one hour on this work but in that one hour you can simply be working on the excel sheet or you can uh, doing your lead management or you can have an auto responder okay there are tools auto responder tools where you know you you have a sign up form or opt in form these are features available in the auto responder so the moment people are interested they give their name and contact details and it goes and sits in the list automatically you can send them a welcome message and you can also set up the nurturing communication that you want to do with them okay this is one way and uh, uh, now because of whatsapp group and all it has become all the more easier you can simply direct them to your whatsapp number okay and uh, take a business whatsapp number don't use your personal number for whatsapp take a business what uh, take a create get a new sim create a new whatsapp business and set it as a whatsapp business number okay and start taking the leads directly because you will be able to engage with them immediately almost instantly okay so when you make a video and somebody is interested in your offering in the description you can write you can connect with me here and you can give your whatsapp link to join you know how to create a whatsapp link to join right if somebody wants to join they can just get in touch with that whatsapp number okay in settings you have that right so that's how you will be able to uh, see this all these things will help you at a lower scale but if you really are a person who says no i am ready to invest in marketing systems and uh, automation solution then uh, it makes sense to get into see these are free tools in the beginning one month is free or na 1000 subscribers are free and there are a lot of things that we can talk about so it's available on my the tools that i use are available on my uh, website and as soon as the webinar ends you will be directed to that page okay so just hold on for 2 minutes and then you can see all the resources that i talk about there uh, all right so that's about it so these are the four steps to create a highly credible online presence okay and it is a it is a preparation stage so make sure you collect reviews make sure you collect testimonials make sure you have the necessary uh, online address whatever it is and you have to be where your customers are your website can be a great online office address because you every 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 post that you are doing you can simply channelize people to your website on your website you can have give them a lead magnet and they will give their name and contact details to you and from there they have come into your funnel and the conversion will start happening from there okay the moment you engage with them on whatsapp or the moment you engage with them on the email because you then you have to strategize and schedule your free sessions like this okay okay yeah all right shama prasad ji no problem thank you so much for joining right <clears throat> so okay you you can direct them wherever required right so now uh, <clears throat> i i i would like to give all of you uh, access to uh, that uh, catchy headline generator it's a very uh, i'm really going to show you what it is so for that uh, how you will download i'm going to be sharing you have to first if you are interested to get that download here is what you need to do 
you uh, you can join my world class entrepreneur uh, facebook group okay uh, that is stage 1 and i'm i'm also going there and i'm going to do a post there um because you will have to actually i would like to know your takeaways what are your learnings from the session uh, on this but before that you will have to send uh, it's a private group so you will i only want to have people who are attending my sessions there i'm also going there so i'll approve your request to join the group now yeah i have received request from <clears throat> mohit and dinesh yeah i have approved your request so now after that i have given you one more link uh, kindly click on that link and i am just going to make a post there and uh, what you have to do is share your top uh, top 5 learnings from today's session and uh, claim your catchy headline template <clears throat> just give me a moment i'm going to be uh, had an amazing uh, session uh, in our weekly business satsang series so you can share your top five learnings and claim your gift i'm attaching the gift there along with the that post so you can download it okay you can download that and i'm also going to be giving you a, a complete walk through of that template right now while you are doing your top 3 learnings uh, top 5 learnings uh, i'm also going to walk through that template because that's the most powerful thing that you can do right now okay so you will be able to download the pdf from the facebook group uh, i also have few more member requests uh, i'm going to approve hari approved suja approved arif approved yes so uh, you that is uh, that you can actually get get that pdf so let me uh, share with you the template right um okay so it is a very powerful template because we struggle you you can use it for your youtube headline your uh, blog headline okay uh, is my screen visible no not yet let me share the screen prem bhatia ji yeah i will approve your uh, let me let me uh, i'm just going to approve that your request as well on the group so because we see that a lot of people share what they learned in the chat in the zoom chat and we lose the chat and then it is very difficult to even the whatsapp chat is like full of so many messages so i i am trying to experiment with new new ways of making sure that all the learnings are documented at a common place okay and it is like a, a good uh, refresher whenever you would like to go it's not lost right so yeah aditya verma ji let me check member request i am not finding any new request just a minute uh your request uh, i i don't have any request right now so i don't know if your request has been i have written reviews and joined the group oh yeah thank you sharda thank you so much so you can download the uh, download the do i need to send again i will see send again please or for the time being i can simply let me see if i can make it a public group but uh, but by but it will be only by invitation 
I don't want to change that setting because there are a lot of people who simply sign and they spoil the synergy of the group. Uh, I'm going to <clears throat> give you the uh, give you the group links again. Just hold on. Okay, so I also wanted to know from all of you, what is it that you want to learn? How to make those? Whatever is your learning need, uh, let us finish this work. Then there are a few more things. Uh, then I'm going to make my sessions oriented towards that. If you say how to make videos, or you know, you just want a review of your websites, or you want a review of your videos, or you want a review of your communication that you are doing, whatever is it, or you want to learn marketing strategies, or you want to learn, uh, you know, entrepreneurial uh, skills, okay? Um, whatever uh, is your interest, uh, I'm collecting your interest and I'm, I'll am i organize my weekly masterminds on what you need rather than what I want to offer, okay? So it will be great if you can let me know what you need. I'll, give you, I'll be giving you a link. Let's uh, close this Facebook uh, group thing first. So um, this is the this is the post link. Yeah, this on this link you will have to post your because I uploaded my con that template catchy headline uh, template on this particular post. So you can go and uh, click on this post. Uh, it says no pending members. So I I let me see if I have approved your Aditya Verma. I'm not able to find your name, Aditya. Yeah, Suman and Brigadier Vijay, yes. Aditya, I don't know why your request is not coming. Are you able to join now? Gigi, your, your request was approved. Your, uh, the request was approved. Uh, the, you will have to go click on this link. And uh, yeah, and... Uh, Yes, Aditya, awesome, great, great, got it. Awesome, awesome guys, great, okay. So that's done. I also have one more ask from you if, if you guys can go. And those who have already reviewed me on Google, uh, no need, but new people who have heard me first time and if you think my session has added value and you learned a few things, I just have a uh, ask. It will be great if you can help give your review and rating because uh, it's very important to build online uh, presence and uh, what goes around comes around. You also get visibility because people, and if you can record a video and upload, awesome. If you can take your picture and put it, all the more better. You can go and edit it later also because you also get visibility. Okay. Then uh, what else? Uh, if you want to, you know, uh, there is one more tool I wanted to share with you today, the Google Ad Planner. Uh, okay. The Google Keyword Planner, uh, if some of you are not aware of that. So... You know, this is a tool to find out what, what people are searching because your website online office address should be built on one or two powerful keywords. For example, for me, it is growth, business growth, right? So everything on my, uh, my article, my topics, my YouTube videos, everything should re revolve around that word, okay? So uh, this is a Google Keyword Planner. Yeah, Dinesh, try to download the doc in Facebook group. Are you able to download? You're not able to download. Okay, but uh, uh, Aditya, Aditya was able to download it. So maybe, you know, you uh, have to, uh, don't worry. I'm going to, let me see if I can attach here a document. Because I I haven't, you know, the, this, uh, this I, I don't, we don't have a group exclusively for the people who signed up today. So how do I, Dinesh? Uh, what Dinesh, are you in my KDM group? Which group are you in? In the digital puzzle group? Oh, wait, I have, oh no, wait, I have actually created the digital puzzle group. All right. Okay, I also have uploaded it in the, no, so now there are many people there and they have not come for the session, right? So I, I also have uploaded it on the drive. So let me give you the drive. Uh, you can download it from the drive. Vijay Sagar, yeah, why you're not able to join the Facebook group, is it? Okay. The thing is that there are, there are very few people who participate. I don't want to simply send it on the group because 
out of 100 people only 10 people are participating there is no point in sending the pdf there it is only for people who have you know taken out time to listen and there is a context right you understand otherwise you know people uh, i have my own reasons for not doing it there all right so uh, um that is why i want to give it to the people who are already here in the session uh, and if you are struggling to join my facebook group for let me for 10 minutes make it public uh, the group and then i'll again change the setting to private let me see if i can do that i'm experimenting that with you guys only i don't know if on the fly i can change the automatic member approval why don't you try after some time and if i get that uh, the, the links uh, you can copy paste and keep it um yeah if you click on this probably that time it will say make a request to the group i can if one request let me see whose request i have received now i have received request from prem bhatia ji and manoj bansal approving i approved just click on that post this particular link the link is working for download yes thank you so much somin thank you so much so i think dinesh just try if not just you already just pm me pm me on that whatsapp that dinesh here attended your session today need the whoever is not uh, not been able to join the what's uh, the facebook group and is not able to get that document please pm me because you have my number just pm i'm uh, dinesh I'm, uh, and i attended the session kindly share the catchy headline pdf and i will do that okay i think that's resolved vijay i think the moment that i will keep on checking the request okay i got uh, uh, let me see if i can edit this uh, settings here okay let's keep moving i will try to address that later because uh, i don't want to waste your time uh, addressing the group permissions and all right so now i want to uh, uh, let me I, i want to show, walk 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 you through the uh, pdf okay and then uh, i uh, if you can answer that question that what is it that you want to get skilled on okay what is it that immediately this particular link while i'm opening this file if you can just uh, answer this uh, okay uh, what is it that you uh, what is it that you want to learn i will orient my sessions uh, where more and more people are asking for particular topic i'll orient my sessions uh, likewise okay if you find it uh, if you think that you would want to learn something from me that i know related to this uh, online uh, business and on knowledge monetization digitization and marketing i'll love to help you out and just have a focus session on these topics okay so uh, the pdf right so here it is uh, is my screen visible uh, is this pdf visible right so even uh, you know on your use this and on your home page use this for your youtube description use this for your blog articles uh, opening statements okay yes thank you so much so many so you know these are some of the examples of catching and uh, catchy and compelling headline right seven harmless habits that may cause cancer this is very powerful it they are harmless habits but they may cause cancer because the purpose is to get the attention of your target audience and create an interest okay how to start a website in three easy steps okay six quick tips for writing titles six simple formulas to write a catchy headline in 2 minutes okay how to lose weight in six steps see most of the time we simply write that how to lose weight but now if you say in six steps it becomes interesting because your visitors should be intrigued and they should become curious you have to uh, arise an interest in them arose you know whatever arise arose whatever is right english you know that you have to make them more it should be very intriguing and it should create curiosity within them to read your article or go through your video or stop on your website right yeah so 
some of the examples are here. I'm just going to skip that piece and you can go over it later. Now, this is a template, okay? How to deal with, okay? Then whatever the, is the issue, okay? Suffering obesity, here's the best way to deal with it. It is fill in the blanks kind of a template, okay? Fill in the blanks kind of a template, right? So get rid of depression without fuss, fuss. Okay, get rid of pimples without fuss. The best ever formula to lose weight in, in one month or in 10 days, something like that. Is your body weight bothering you, right? Something like that, okay? Seeking change. So these are, you know, some problem where you are dealing with the problem, depression, obesity, okay? Uh, pimples or whatever, you know? Uh, stress or whatever it is, right? Anxiety or okay? Or how to deal with the loss of a loved one, loved one right? These are problem-related templates. Then if somebody is seeking change in their life, they're aspiring, then you have to write 10, you know, it could be number 10, number, this hash sign means number, 10 tips to rekindle the lost love in your life, right? Forget this and try this instead. So if these are the templates, you can, you know, it's all six pages are there, guys. And you can also have weird and funny and strange things like 10 strange but efficient ways to increase your productivity, something like that, okay? So you have, you you need to, as a, you know, you, uh, if you want to do it on your own, make sure that you arm yourself with powerful words, adjectives, okay? What people need in the market, okay? It can be five weird ways to increase your metabolism, okay? How to teach just like your guru, Something can be like that, okay? Just go, go through all of these, okay? There are many, many, many such things. I have compiled it at one place, okay? Uh, we have many of them. Uh, so this is, a, this is going to be very handy for you, not only to get the content on your website, right? On your communication, uh, right? It will help you in opening videos. It will help you in the description of the video, in the title of the video. It will, uh, yeah, I've already given this now. I've given this only. That's the PDF you have to download on the uh, on the uh, Facebook group. I attached and I wanted you to share your top five takeaways from today's session. And you can uh, and let, let us go there and look at that list. See on the Facebook post. See, Somen was able to download, Aditya was able to download, so you can have the local access. Thank you so much. And if uh, anyone would like to share how your experience has been today, just let me know. I will unmute you and you can speak. I can get you as panelist and you can speak. Thank you everyone for your time today. And I hope that you enjoyed the session and uh, it will add value in whatever you are doing. So anyone would like to share, just let me know me uh, and I would just unmute you and you can share. Thank you. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you, Balaji. Anyone here who would like to share how the session has been for you? And those who have not received uh, uh, the, uh, not able to join the group, not received the PDF, please PM me on the WhatsApp the number from wherever you received this uh, or Telegram group or wherever you received this invite for today's session, uh, I will share. All right, I will share Dinesh, uh, uh, but I don't know your number. So you will have to PM me because as you see, there are more than 200 people in that WhatsApp group and I have five such groups. So I would be, it is, and only for the digital puzzle and I have over 10 groups for another case and uh, one Telegram group. I want to merge all of you at one place, those who want to continue to learn from me. So next Tuesday, again at 9 p.m., we will be having business satsang. Uh, we'll cover various topics related to business growth. And if that is your interest, the link to join remains the same. You will have to register and then you can attend. Thank you so much. Anyone who would like to share how the session has been for you? Just type any volunteer who would like to, I can, uh, Dinesh, yeah. Nice, nice is not help. What is your takeaway? What, what did you learn? <laughs> Valuable, <laughs> all right, okay.
great then thank you guys for your time and i look forward uh, thank you aditya it has been an awesome session great learning looking forward yes every tuesday 9 pm i am fixing for free business satsang okay business satsang it why it is called business satsang because i am going to be telling you the truth sat ka sang satsang is in the company of truth so we will be discussing the truth related to business how to grow in business and the behind the behind the success uh, you know behind the scene story okay what all is important for you to success, grow and succeed in your business all right so uh, it was long pending in my list so i have started it today and i hope to continue and we will cover diverse topics and this is the place where i i will also be giving opportunity for my community to come and share what they want to share okay so uh, this is going to be a completely free series all right so thank you so much for your time and uh, please message me those who have not received the pdf from the uh, facebook group it will be great if you can share your reviews on uh, uh, vm reviews the google reviews because it will help me uh, reach out to more people help me establish my online credibility okay it's very important and uh, i i need your support uh, for that uh, and i'll i from the bottom of my heart i thank you for taking out time uh to share your kind words all right so um thank you so much everybody and if you have any questions you can ask now otherwise i'm going to call it a night right so i'm just going to be giving the link to google reviews one more time you know problem uh, dubha we are recording the session i'm going to publish it on youtube so and the thing the, the my only challenge is i did not uh somehow take uh, the contact details in the registration page i only have the email ids so i i am not able to reach you guys uh so i will not be able to uh, tell you the youtube link so all you can do is simply go and sign subscribe on my youtube channel now okay just do vandana mehrotra youtube on google and then the moment i upload this uh, uh, video you will get because once you subscribe this video will be published there i don't have my youtube uh, uh, link for you to join right now handy just do vandanam herotra youtube if you go there you can subscribe and the moment the recording is processed i'm going to upload it so you will get the recording okay and in the description of that video i will also give the link uh, the drive link where you can download the pdf okay so those of you who are not i don't know because there are various places i shared that i am doing the session today uh and uh, i am not sure where all of you are from which group you have come from your i don't have that handy so guys uh, if you don't want that pdf you will have to reach out otherwise i'm going to publish it on youtube and description the link from where you can download and i've also changed the registration format so next time i will have your numbers so i would know that okay uh, if you need if i'm giving anything and you have not received it i know how to manage it from my end but in this particular session i'm really sorry i don't have your numbers i don't know from where you have came to know and uh, where you have decided to attend so um thank you so much for your time uh, no question then i will see you next uh, tuesday at 9 pm till then keep growing keep evolving bye for now telegram group link uh, yes hold on i'll give you that yeah and it will be great if all of you come to telegram because i will have only one place to respond because right now i'm handling more than 20 whatsapp group so it is very difficult for me to which group i uh, to go and send the links and stuff like that so it will be great if all of you can join my telegram group i'm just sending you the link hold on just a minute yeah this is the link to join on the telegram
uh, yeah this is where you can join on the telegram uh, let me also create a whatsapp group right now let me also create a whatsapp group and i'll give you the group invite so that you guys who, who participated at least uh, uh, i i know just a moment i'll create a group and give you the link whatsapp group link as well Mm, so I don't have to go to many places and do the jugglery for uh, to give you the PDF. I'm going to type one minute, okay? I'm going to call it the business satsang group. So yeah, um, just a minute, giving you that link also done. All right, so this is a WhatsApp group where you can join. All right. Awesome, Aditya, all right. So the Telegram group is given, the WhatsApp group is given. So let's build this WhatsApp group for people who are interested to learn every Tuesday at 9 p.m. So Telegram group is given above. And WhatsApp group is given. Now, I, can, I once you guys join, it, it is easier for me at one place to share the details with you. WhatsApp group is here. Telegram group is also given. Facebook group is, has also been given. Uh, if you want, I can uh, uh, again type the Facebook group link. So please uh, copy paste this link wherever you can right now. And once uh, you are on WhatsApp, probably I can uh, again help you with that. With the uh, virtual background in Zoom, my image was blurring. Ha, huh, Swati, are you there? Are you there, Swati? I can answer that for you. Let me see if Swati is there. Uh, Swati had a question. Yeah, Swati. Yes. Okay, Swati. Uh, I'm going to allow you to talk. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Swati, you can speak. I have allowed you to unmute. Good night, ma'am. How are you? I am doing well, Swati. How are you? I'm also fine, ma'am. Yeah. So, your question is with virtual background, my image was blurring. All right. So, what happens is some of the laptops... Some of the laptops uh, require uh, you to have a green screen or a solid background in the back. Okay, so if like, like my background is a real background. Yes. But uh, if suppose uh, this, uh, if, if I change the virtual background, uh, my, my, you know, sometimes because of the limitation of the system, it will starts blurring. So if you don't want it to blur, you should have a solid wall at the back, a solid color. That means a white color or whatever. Some of the camera uh, of the laptops are able to take that. Otherwise, you have to buy a green screen. Okay, buy uh, and the distance between your the between that green screen and you should be less. See, like just one feet. Or you know, uh, okay. so that what happens is the more you are closer to the green screen the more natural you will come if you are using the virtual background. Otherwise, it looks like, you know, the hair are moving and it looks very clumsy. My hands are also moving. I was not able to create the video with the virtual screen. So you will have to have a solid background. Otherwise, buy that the thoda mota kapda aata hai na, span ka kapda jo hota hai, green color ka. Hmm. Jo, jo Amazon pe milta hai green screen, it is transparent. Okay. So uh, if it is transparent, then also that blurring will happen. But if you have a little, uh, then uh, then uh, your you will not the, it will not blur. Okay. Uh, okay. आपके लैपटॉप का भी लिमिटेशन हो सकता है, because uh, some some of the laptops work absolutely fine the latest one even if you are setting the virtual background. Uh, even if you don't have a solid wall, they work well. But if it is a old laptop. Then probably you will have to have a solid background, and if that is also not working, then uh, it, Zoom only tells that you need a virtual screen. You know, you need a green screen. Okay, ma'am, I have a new laptop of Lenovo. Okay, 
so then we will have to look at why you are not able to do that uh what was how was your background blurry or uh, your background was solid wall plain wall or you had some things kept at the back actually i added a thumbnail of uh, virtual created on canva as a uh, background hmm then i started recording my rhyme so i was okay. not not able to move like my hands are also moving my face was also moving the okay. my all body is moving but i don't but i was not moving for ha to we will have to uh, see what is the issue there but uh, if you have a try to put a green screen at the back and see if that problem will be solved okay okay try to put a green screen and there is a mark that i have a green screen okay that the, in the when you set virtual background you can choose i have a green screen and then i uh, clicked I on all on that also i have a green screen after selecting virtual background no, then no, also no 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 green screen matlab you have to physically have green screen at the back okay it's not that just i have you have to have a physical green screen at the back then if you choose virtual background it will it will look nice that is why you are because whatever is at the back that and your See, if you are wearing a green dress, then also you will start blurring. Okay, that is also there. If you choose virtual background, so you will have to experiment little bit and see. Okay, ah, uh, what is the issue there? Okay, ma'am, how can I get low cost Facebook? And actually, my uh, my product is of very low cost, of ninety rupees only. Hmm. hmm. so you have to uh, swati um, first of all the way you are writing your content what is the product what is the product ma'am it's worksheet and pdfs in pdf form for nursery kids okay so uh, yeah swati you mentioned that before also i remember that uh, so what you have to do is you first what is the problem you are solving why they need that worksheets and pdfs actually all the preschools has been closed actually my son is also of 3 years and i have not sent my son to the school and i i opted for many online classes but the child is very small so he is not able to sit in the online class ha huh. so uh, what say so you the, the opening lines of your uh, facebook first of all you have to do a boost post you have to have a fan page you have to have a page facebook page and there you will do a post and the post opening statement of the post will be addressing the problem so you know what whatever due to you know i i your child is not is your child not able to complete uh, uh, i have the ma'am state problem statement that all the preschools have been closed and i am helping parents to get their child uh, to dream nursery admissions no so that is not the problem no. the what is the problem of the parent for example uh, it is you know they prepare their child for the nursery admissions the problem i am solving what is the problem you are solving preparing child for the nursery admissions oh preparing child for nursery admissions okay so it is like uh, would you uh, would you uh, would you uh, it's like uh, hey uh, parent okay you are address it to the parent of a of of a child seeking admission in nursery right mm -hmm. so uh, that will be addressed to the parents who are seeking admission of their children in nursery then you can say that would you like to make sure your child gets successfully gets admission in in the school of your choice mm -hmm. okay that is the that is what they want ki wherever they are applying that child should get success uh, admission right, right? so make sure that child clears the whatever you know the entry process or whatever here are some uh, sheets and worksheets that were that will ensure that your child gets selected uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know in, in the school of your preference mm -hmm. okay and then uh, you can just boost the post and set the right audience where you have to put they have uh, you know setting the right target audience mm -hmm. right Uh, and you should have a, you can create a video also along in your own video along with whatever i just said if you share on a video video uh, video less than 30 seconds 45 seconds they also get more visibility rather than just post 
Okay. Okay. The what the question you are asking is a very deep topic. Okay. I'm just giving you some uh, basic hacks. but uh, that is the challenge of everyone how to uh, get uh, you know how to generate sales from facebook and how can i have low cost of marketing nahi no, actually ma'am i run four ads in last uh, two months six ads but i am getting cost per lead very high your cost per lead becomes high if your uh, ad copy is not attractive enough and out of say 100 people only one is clicking then your cost per lead goes high and if your content is right out of 100 if 80 people are clicking then your cost will go low so the click click rate happens through the right content and the whatever i gave you right uh, so there is a whole strategy okay so we are doing a session on how to write your facebook uh, uh, how to do a your facebook campaigns on saturday on saturday 20th february okay Okay. so let me give you the link it is a 499 rupees workshop 3 hour workshop hold on if you are interested you can join that okay it's a paid workshop on how to do your facebook uh, campaigns okay so if that is your interest probably you can join let me uh, uh, give you the link for that anyone else who wants to learn how to set up facebook for your campaign uh, i'm just going to give you the link to join that uh I learned Facebook ad campaign from Gopal sir. Okay. From But there I came to know you, and okay. I joined your workshop. Okay, Swati. Then you, when you know how to set up the set up, you are not writing the ad copy properly then. So Gopal is doing reviews also. Now why don't you? If you are already on, you did you join? Okay, I I actually went ahead with them. They are my agency. They are doing my ads. Mm. otherwise in uh, the mrock program was also there they have come up with different programs because that writing that ad copy is an art everything depends so setting up the facebook campaign is not a problem okay the how to write the ad copy that is what you need to know first okay so uh, that he teaches na how to write the ad copy actually i joined main program of someone else so i paid there 15000 rupees oh so then why are you, i mean see the, wherever you are going ask them to review your uh, ad copy no swati okay ask them whoever whomsoever you are paying because you paid so much money to them mm. it is there you should ask them they should uh, help you review your ad copy okay you send your ad copy whatever you send send it to me on separate on whatsapp okay okay ma'am ad copy to me on whatsapp okay i will see what i can do if i can uh, if i i don't have to spend too much time i will help you out okay okay ma'am so uh, this is the link to if anybody uh, wants to join our uh, facebook uh, uh, workshop that we are doing here's the link to join the facebook workshop it happens on uh, it is happening on 20th 3 hour workshop where we will be teaching you how to write the ad copy plus set up your campaign define your target audience and everything 3 hour workshop Okay, that's all I have. Thank you so much for your time today, uh, and um, I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you, everyone. Good night.